Bob plays his challenge match with tennis hustler Bobby Riggs. Watch. As in any Riggs match, the fans were talking upset. As I walked onto the court, little did I know, but the hustle was already on. Riggs played the part to perfection, acting like playing with boots and umbrella and chairs on the court would be too much of a disadvantage. After some bargaining, I agreed to have 10 chairs put on his side of the court and add four for every game I lost. The match started, and before I could take a deep breath, I had lost three straight games. I found out quickly that the difficult thing in playing Riggs is trying to figure out what type of spin he has put on the ball. In my case, by the time I knew which kind of spin, it was already too late. More chairs were added to the court, and Riggs started playing with an umbrella. With the added handicaps, I soon brought the score to 7-6 in favor of Riggs. My confidence was high, and I thought I saw a look of disbelief in Riggs' eyes. Then, Riggs announced that not only would he win the deciding game easily, but would add as many chairs as possible to his side of the court. Suddenly, I knew I had taken the bait hook, line, and sinker, and the master hustler had done it again. After losing every point in the last game, I went to the net for the traditional handshake. Oh, Bobby, you really put it to me. Oh, God, Bobby, you made it close, 8-6. I well, mean, anybody's game. I have plenty of chairs, though, you got to admit. You I should admit, 34 chairs. The most I've ever been able to give anybody was 32 to a Houston banker. I won 10,000. You're lucky you didn't lose that much on this match. <laughs> is there any hope for me at all? There is. You've improved so much since I was here before, I can't tell you. With your kind of athletic ability and the way you're dedicated to work, you're going to be a good player. You'll be on the circuit in three years. Next time I take you on, I get Billy Jean to help me on, huh? Oh, I don't want any part of that Billy Jean. She's too tough. The moral of this story is the only way not to lose to Bobby Riggs is to never play Bobby Riggs. This is Bob Bruce reporting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. Is that it? That's it. You didn't say good night or anything. No. I just... Thank you, Bobby and Bob and Jack. Lee standing by with the latest on the weather. We'll talk about that after this brief pause. <laughs>